Today I want to show you how I did the rust on my airsoft gun. Um, you see this orange color, that's my uh, color I mixed up with uh, some uh, red and some yellow. Uh, the red is opaque and the yellow is a bright yellow transparent color. Then I made a darker rust color and it's made of uh, dark brown and it's got some uh, yellow and it's got some burgundy red. And my final color is the, also a darker brown, basically made of red, red yellow and also this metallic uh, copper flake medium so to give it a little sparkle so basically start off with uh, with taking some sponge material and just dab uh, some white paint on the areas you want to color so I already painted this scope uh, a green color and you have to apply the white otherwise you would not see the brightness of the colors so it looks a little bit strange but uh, it will be uh, okay in the end as you will see in a few minutes just apply where you think it's uh, it's possible uh, that rust is formed or and if you're not sure you can always check on the internet for some pictures of uh, rust forming on some metal plates or something. Then you uh, uh, can continue with the brown, put it also on the sponge and start sponging over the white. I use uh, very thin uh, paint, uh, it's a little bit diluted with some water, but not over 50%, otherwise uh, the paint will not harden. And you can always add some medium if you're not sure if uh, it will dry in the end. So uh, You see me making some, some real thick droplets sometimes, and that's because it's a transparent color. So the droplets you make will be a little bit more intense of color. Rust is also having uh, a large amount of different colors if you look to it closely. And then I dry it with a hair dryer in between all layers. Then it's time to uh, to add some uh, some bright uh, orange, and this will give uh, a nice effect of fresh um, rust. Uh, sometimes you see uh, a very bright uh, orange color to rust. So I thought, uh, let's put it in there. And also, uh, if you make your uh, sponge droplets a little bit thicker it will dry a little bit darker So the third color is applied the uh, same way and if you think it's still a little bit too light then you can apply more layers and dry them in between. 
Just keep on going until you're satisfied with your end result. And if you like to add some texture to the rust, you can apply like this uh, silica sand uh, medium. Uh, it will give a little bit of rough feeling to the rust. So it will take some time. But the end result is pretty neat. And if you're finished and satisfied with your end result, you finish off everything with uh, some clear coat. Uh, I used like this two component clear coat for cars and it worked pretty, pretty well. Here are some pictures of the end result. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thank you for watching. Until next time.